All right, so not a reading about messages from the universe, but I'm being hit with a lot of similar messages and synchronicities, and I thought it was worth exploring um, as I bring out all the cards here that I'm going to be discussing with you. So the first set of cards are the ones that I did put a reel out about today, and that was the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and then the Ace of Cups. Um, this was definitely encapsulating the sort of discomfort and the change that I think we're being pushed to figure out during these last two weeks of Libra season as we go through Scorpio season. I think a lot of us are going to be pushed and challenged in the areas in our life where we've, you know, willingly stayed stagnant, where we've made the choice to ignore and to turn a blind eye to certain things. That's what's kind of being upended in this energy right now. Sorry, just taking some water. So I definitely feel that we are being challenged. Now, like I said, I do feel that it's going to be areas of partnership in work or career. I mean, in career or love that are going to be challenged here. These set of cards look at the choices we need to make towards ourselves for self-love, but also the connections and the experiences and the relationships that we are exploring as well. There is a level of conflict here around your happiness. And with the strength of the fool just sitting here, I mean, these are separate messages, but I'm seeing that you know that inner strength is required in order to embrace new opportunities, to move towards your happiness, and to heal with a star here. But you are not making the choice because the discomfort is too great. So that's not eliminating your problem because I think in a very stupid and silly fashion, Sorry if that sounds a little judgmental. You think by not acknowledging the problem, the problem will go away. By not acknowledging the healing that needs to be done, then this thing will fix itself out. But it's just getting worse. It's not getting any better here. Okay? And you are being called. Your inaction is being challenged here. That's what's happening. Okay? And I just think you're going to be forced into healing, though, because your happiness is coming from healing. The things that you desire in relationships and in connections, even in your family, like the things that you may be dealing with in your family as a whole, if it's not romance or work, there is happiness. There are things that you want. There are things that you know that you deserve. There are changes that need to be made, none of which you're doing, by the way. And you might have the tendency to gaslight others and really just sort of hate on yourself and victimize yourself and be like, woe is me. But you've put yourself here. Now, what took you into this experiment experience may have been out of your control. I highly doubt that, though. We're adults. We always know where we're going. But there are certain situations where sometimes we are crippled to make certain choices that we don't want to. But right now, what I'm being told by the universe is you have the choice to get out. And that's a choice that's not being made here. And as beautiful as these cards may be, the sun, the star, and the ten of pentacles. This is what you're going to be pushed towards. That, you know, your happiness isn't going to come easy to you. Because you've choicefully and willingly stayed stuck for a long period of time. That there's a lot that needs to be addressed. But, you know, you are being told that your inner strength, your experiences have built character. Allow that to come through. Make the choice. Look at that. You're being given a lot of guidance towards new opportunities and making choices. You just need to make them okay you just need to make them I'm giving these cards here so i can channel these messages if i need to what else am i getting here and then i have a whole new set of cards here you know i dropped my deck the knight of cups stuck out here and then i saw the strength and when i went to go pull out the strength the emperor came out with it and with the King of Wands here, I actually think the King of Wands is here too. Oh my God. <laughs> Synchronicities. Look, the Lovers comes back out here too. Lovers, and then the Lovers are here. So, I am seeing that masculine energies... Guys, this is kind of crazy. I'm looking at another deck here. Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, Lovers, it's just kind of sitting at the back here. And these cards are sitting here like this. I see the Emperor peeking out and I have Tower, Six of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles. Lovers repeating itself, Emperor repeating itself, Ten of Pentacles repeating itself. And then here I'm looking at a deck and I see Emperor and, what is that? 
two of wands, emperor and tower. So clearly the rigidity of masculine energies are being upended here. The queen of wands again. Where did I see a queen of wands? I saw a queen of wands here, was it? No. Was a queen? No, okay, I may be mistaken. I thought I saw a queen of wands elsewhere. There are shifts coming here. With the Emperor and the Tower repeated here more than once, I'm seeing that the rigidity of masculine energies are being challenged at this time. This is quite confusing here. Lots of repeat messages, so I'm going to start putting some of this away. I'm organizing myself around here. But with the Tower and the Emperor and then the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Four of Wands, I'm being told that, you know, masculine energies are going to be shifted into a new beginning. A beginning that's going to get them to start looking at their pain and their stagnancy and their trauma a little bit more closely. Again, as we purge, things don't look pretty. Healing and ascension are not pretty things. We're, we have to deal with and acknowledge a lot of crap. And here, I think a masculine energy is being encouraged to look at their crap. You know, with so much fire on the table here, I'm seeing that fire science could be the most challenged here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, I think the impulsivity of some of their actions are going to be challenged. And I think they're going to start seeing how their impulsive actions have led them to certain experiences in their life. What is continuing to happen here? This lack of self-love, this lack of healing, this lack of, and this indecision, this state of indecision is, cannot exist any longer. The universe is going to push you here to this happiness. And it seems like it's coming at the expense of a masculine energy here. It's pretty interesting to see the way these cards are coming out. So let me put this away and let's start looking at more specific messages here pertaining to this experience that I initially pulled out. It's, if I have to sum everything up, it just seems like a breakthrough. Ah, Emperor comes back out again. So I'm being I'm being confirmed here that it's a masculine energy that's going to come face to face with their own bullshit, so to speak. And you saw me shovel that deck. And there came the Emperor again, right? So... Empress throughout this reading, I will be shocked, but this seems quite hyper focused on a very individual journey of a masculine energy, a rigid energy, a stubborn and a stuck energy. So, you might not resonate with the masculine energy, but that could be your experience here. So, there is guidance coming from oh, look at this! Look at this, Emperor, guidance around relationships. You know. Do you know what's going to make you happy? Look at this sign of Leo coming out with a tower. Page of Pentacles and the Fool. This is all a background energy happening towards Scorpio season. The beginnings of which may have started now. It's only going to intensify. The sun repeats itself. The tower, we're going to grab that. Two of Cups. Okay. That's a background energy. When the cards tell me a story like that. <sighs> okay, give me a moment here. Okay, 
I really do feel like fire signs, especially Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is very masculine energy here with the emperor, with Aries, with the sun, with Leo here. This is a masculine energy. This is a masculine energy. There is guidance, divine intervention coming in to show these rigid masculine energies how they are not doing themselves a service, how they're doing themselves a disservice by not taking the time to understand their patterns in love, by not taking the time to clear away their past trauma patterns in love and to take small steps towards a new beginning here. They may be with somebody, but they may not be with somebody. You don't have to be with anybody here. Your lessons are still not being learned because you're still repeating cycles even after a breakup or in a relationship. And chances are they know exactly where they're being stuck. It's just that sometimes with the amount of fire that I see here, they are impulsive and their ego acts out first and they're quick to point the fingers back at other people. Now, I just think that a lot of the realizations and the epiphanies and the breakthroughs, like I said, are coming through, are not going to be pretty. Because I think they're going to realize how perhaps they have been pointing the fingers at others for a very long time, but it was in fact their actions, maybe their words that, that were keeping them stuck. There is this guidance and energy around taking accountability of your actions and taking responsibility of your actions here. And I don't think the universe is going to allow it anymore. Now, that might manifest in many different ways. I think that those of us who resonate with masculine energies who are on the path of healing, I don't see the epiphanies being as dramatic. They might be uncomfortable and they might force you to have more conversations and heal in a particular way and walk a certain path. But for those of you, if you're watching or those of us that we're connected to, who haven't really been doing the work and willingly staying stuck, I see the most being destroyed, upended, and completely annihilated in their life. The ways they're living, the ways they're thinking, the ways they're feeling just cannot continue. And the universe has made it very clear at this point. Those cycles will end and balance will be restored and movement forward. We thrust into that movement forward here. Thrust. I'm just going to take the one card. Seven of Wands. So what's being... Okay, two. The, what's being wrapped up is our resistance. So whether you identify as a masculine energy or not, I think it's going to be very healthy for you to watch this reading and walk away with what you can do in your life. Now, I, I know that a lot of you may feel like, okay, this is my person. This is a masculine energy in my life. This is a masculine energy I'm connected to. But listen, you all have masculine energy within you too. So how are you wrapping up these cycles of resistance to work towards your happiness and how are you continuing to make choices that are going to be for your own good so look at this reading as a way to challenge those things in your life and how you can move forward okay